Evidence-Based Literature Searching Using Ovid Medline. Identify the main search concepts. We have hepatitis C, cryoglobulinemia, and rituximab. The outcome, survival, is a potential fourth concept. However, specific outcomes can be challenging to search since they are often buried in the full text of the article. So for now, let's go with three concepts. First, go to the Medical Library's homepage by going to library.medicine.iu.edu or by Googling IUSM Library. Click on the Ovid link, select the top Medline database, and select Resources. With Ovid, it's best to enter your search concepts one at a time, and click on Search. Ovid will map your search concept to the best available medical subject heading. Medical subject headings, or MESH for short, are the standardized vocabulary assigned by indexers at the National Library of Medicine to each Medline record. They pull together all articles on a subject much better than text words because subject headings take into account all synonyms. Notice that there are three boxes located to the right of each of the terms, the explode, focus, and the scope note. Getting back to our search on hepatitis C, we'll take a look at where it is listed in the outline by clicking on it. The outline format is also known as a tree structure, and we'll click on the button that says full tree in order to see the entire outline. The hierarchical format allows us to demonstrate what happens when we elect to explode a subject heading. If we select human viral hepatitis, and check the explode box, we will retrieve all the different types of hepatitis without having to check all the boxes or enter all the terms. If we wanted to, we could even search for all virus diseases. The bottom line is that you will almost always want to check the explode box. There is also an opportunity on the screen to require that your chosen topic be the primary focus of the articles. Generally, it's best not to restrict a subject to focus initially, because relevant articles may be missed. Clicking on the scope note will bring up a brief definition of the term. Click on the Continue button. This is the final screen that allows you to fine-tune your subject heading by attaching a secondary concept to it. These secondary concepts are called subheadings. However, using them runs a significant risk of eliminating relevant records due to indexing inconsistencies. We recommend that you include all subheadings, and you can do that by simply clicking on the Continue button. Continue this process with your other search concepts. If you're searching a subject that doesn't match closely enough with any of the subject headings, then drop to the bottom of the list and click in the box to search rituximab as a keyword or a text word in titles and in abstracts. Then click on the Continue button. Now we're ready to combine our search concepts. We can do this by selecting all three of them and combining them with AND. AND requires that all three search concepts be in the same record. Another option is to enter the set numbers directly into the search box. The most frequently used limits are located below the search box. For most clinical topics, we'll limit to humans and to English language. We still have 59 records to look through. 
what we'd like to find is the highest level of evidence available to answer our clinical question. Since this is a treatment type question, we may find a meta-analysis or a systematic review, or more likely, we'll find a randomized controlled trial. If there are no randomized controlled trials, then we may have to work our way down the evidence pyramid. For very rare diseases, you most likely will only find case series or case reports. So we'll try limiting to meta-analyses. We'll go down to frequently used limits, publication types, and we'll select meta-analyses. Ovid applies limits to the very last set in your search, unless you tell it otherwise. We now want to apply the systematic reviews limit, and we want to apply it to set number five. To highlight set number five, we'll click on display. Now we'll see if there's a systematic review. The systematic review limit is lurking under the subject subsets box. The systematic reviews limit is highly sensitive and will pick up general review articles as well as systematic reviews. In this case, it looks like we've picked up a general review article, so we'll move on and see if we can locate a good randomized controlled trial. So again, we'll apply our limit to set number five with 59 records by clicking on display. Next, we're going to use the clinical queries to see if we can get at the best evidence. Because this is a therapy or treatment question, we're going to use the therapy strategy. The first one we'll apply is a strategy that maximizes specificity. In essence, this will limit you to randomized controlled trials. You can repeat the process and broaden your search for the evidence by applying an optimized therapy strategy or by applying a therapy strategy that maximizes retrieval. You can stop at any point in this process when you feel that you have evidence to address your clinical question. Let's look at our randomized controlled trials. The first two look pretty good. We'll go ahead and select them, and we'll go ahead and print them out. We'll select the format of citation and abstract, and we'll include our search history. Then we'll click on Print Preview. This is what we'd like you to turn in for your assignment. Thank you for your attention. We look forward to receiving your EBM assignment.